Good morning. I uh, hope you're doing well this morning. My name is Amélie Robitaille and I am the Senior Manager of Public Relations Social Media for the Touring Show Division. We are in the creation room of Alegria and I am with members of the creation team of this new version of Alegria. Good morning, Daniel. Daniel is our creation director. Alors, Daniel Ross, directeur de création de la nouvelle version d'Alegria. How are you? Good. Excellent. On est aussi en compagnie de Émilie Terrien. Émilie's with us. She's the chorégraphe acro acrobatic choreographer. Choreographer. <laughs> Sorry, my English. It's all good. How are you? I'm very good. Excellent. Thanks for being with us. And we are with Richard Lepage, who's the director, coaching and performance. So, we've asked our fans to ask us questions about the, the acrobatic skeleton, uh, specifically this morning. First of all, can you explain to me what is an acrobatic skeleton? Sure. Uh, an acrobatic skeleton is a layout of, uh, of acrobatics, of di different type of disciplines, basically, that we uh, line up to create our show, to be able to build a pacing, to be able to uh, create a, a world that brings emotion and a, a, a lineup of through the a storyline, basically through uh, the show for the the amount of uh, of the time that we need to build it. So it can depend depending of the production. If it's a, a short show, it will be only five acts. But in our case, it's a like around ten acts that we have in our show right now to build the the full show. So we always try to uh, to go through uh, different uh, disciplines to really make uh, something that is uh, balanced and um, something that is will will bring uh, the acrobatic level as well that uh, is expected in a Cirque du Soleil show. Awesome and just in general for, for our audience and people who are not so familiar with acrobatics, how many different types of acrobatics or different genre of acrobatics is there out there? But I would say that it would be around maybe a, like a big, like there, we would categorize them by like a family, uh, meaning that we would have like seven big type of uh, acrobatic uh, disciplines in the world. So uh, we would have like balancing acts, we would have like juggling or manipulation that we call. We have the rebound uh, disciplines, we have all the aerials, and uh, we would say too that we would have uh, the traditional circuit act, circus act that we found like in traditional circus, and all the gymnic uh, aspect uh, that we try to incorporate in our shows uh, through the years, that's been uh, Cirque du Soleil since 30 years now. Speaking of since 30 years, the first version of the show was created 25 years ago. A long time has passed. Has there been changes or has acrobatics evolved since, since then? By for sure, because I think every time uh, through the years, people always try to push the limits. It's the same thing in sports, it's the same thing with circus acts. So we always try to go further as uh, human performances and we try to really uh, push the boundaries. So for sure, every year we go one step ahead and we try to really go someplace else with all the acrobatics. So for sure, uh, Alegria 25 years ago wouldn't be the same like now. So uh, right now we're trying to go with the the expectation of the public because they've been seeing a lot of shows uh, through the years as well. So for us, it's our challenge to to bring that that step up within the new creation in 2019. And like Emilia is saying, I think the, the entire world has moved for sure. Like, you know, technology, so the equipment that we're using is something, the way we're training people has changed, the way that uh, the people behave with their own body has changed, you know, the the ownership of our performers has changed as well. So obviously that that, that will reflect on the performance on, on stage for sure. Awesome, thank you. All right, so we've had a lot of questions from our fans. Zach, DJ, Green Ninja, uh, and uh, Andrea were asking, basically, they want to know what is this new version going to be like, the concept, are, we, are, are you guys having any surprises for us that we can reveal today? Well, for sure, it's going to be quite different. Uh, I mean, the best way to find out really is to come and see the show. <laughs> Once it's out, starting but, in April. Uh, the, yeah. the, the process, what what we our uh, our, our big bet and our, our objective with Alegria right now, with the, the the we call it a relecture in French in English, a rereading, if you'd like. We're taking the show and its DNA and its roots and 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 its main themes, and we're trying to we want to revisit it through the lens of today. 
basically. Like uh, we're in 2019, so all of these themes and this storyline and, 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 and everything that's behind the show and the inspiration of the show, how does it read today and how can we interpret it today? So we have a new director on board to put it together and everything. We always keep that little um, uh, tie, that little like uh, fill, like all a little thread to the original, and then we have people on the show that were there at the beginning, like in the, some of the creators, among among uh, them the costume designer Dominic, who's who's redrawing her own concept basically to fit the new the new idea and the new concept. So yes, there is going to be quite a lot of changes. Uh, we are going to relook at the music, the, the original catalog, but there will, there will be a rearrangement, and for sure we'll be talking about that at some point in a, in a Facebook Live, I'm hoping. Definitely. And the same with the costumes, the same with the set design. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you know, if I, if I relate that to the acrobatic skeleton, there are some surprises with, with acrobatic acts as well, which, you know, I. It will come in, in due time. So there, there's very interesting uh, material coming up. Yeah. Awesome. So I forgot to mention, uh, we had some question on the previous tune in uh, post that we did, but it's time for you guys to think about your questions because we're here for the next uh, 10 to 20 minutes to answer your questions today. Um, so one question that one had was, it was a little bit more on the set design and, and props mm -hmm. design, which we'll talk again on another live, but he wants to know, is it the same stage from the original Allegria? Well, yes and no. Uh, we, we, we looked at the original set design and from that and from that world, from that idea, we kind of evolved it, if you like. So some parts <coughs> of it are still there, uh, for example, because we'll still have a power track yeah. number in the show we kept the whole like opening of the stage which we had 25 years ago already but then but then the whole upstage, upstage. part of the show we are revisiting you know, we used to have uh, uh, other uh, you know, a, a dome and everything, and we, we, we ask ourselves what is our representation of, of what power means in the world and all that, and we kind of re-looked at that. So yes, the stage will be different, uh, but still uh, inspired from the original. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Um, nous avons aussi Marie-Josée Wallet qui nous demandait, y aura-t-il des artistes qui étaient là au début et qui performeront dans la version 2019? Ben, la réponse est oui. <rire> Il y aura euh, de ces artistes qui se retrouvent sur la, produ la production en 2019, euh, dont euh, notre euh, super Hélène Lève euh, qui sera de la distribution, et aussi euh, Oné Tovo qui est un euh, manipulateur de feu, qui était là aussi au tout début d'Alegria. Puis euh, par le fait même aussi, euh, moi qui étais avec ces artistes-là sur la scène 25 ans, il y a déjà 25 ans, je trouve que ça va vite le temps. Bien là, je me retrouve assise sur la chaise de conceptrice euh, acrobatique puis euh, de chorégraphe acrobatique. Euh, fait que c'est un super beau cheminement avec la compagnie aussi. Puis de me retrouver aussi de l'autre côté, euh, de voir Allegria, moi aussi, c'est une relecture pour moi, de voir l'évolution d'Allegria, puis aussi de suivre euh, justement... Euh, la belle adaptation qu'on en fait en gardant justement l'essence d'Allegria, mais en, en, en l'amenant plus loin en 2019, puis vraiment en étant au goût du jour, puis euh, c'est ça, d'amener cette émotion-là que Allegria a toujours été, puis de garder ce, ce, cette essence-là pour nous, je pense que c'est ça aussi euh, notre, notre objectif principal, c'est vraiment de garder la couleur d'Allegria, que tout le monde a quand même un petit, un petit, un petit souvenir derrière la tête de ça, fait que, et dans le cœur. I guess Shane, that also answers your question. You wanted to know if Elena Lev was coming back with her Ula Hoop Act. Uh, she is. But also Emily was telling us that she was one of the acrobats in the original uh, creation of the show. And she's uh, now part of the creation team, which is an amazing story. And she's really excited to bring back all the emotion that this show was giving people. Um, also, we had uh, Hector who was asking, well, Hector has three questions. Let's start by one. Who is the new singer? Uh, I don't know yet. We are still in the casting process for the new senior actor. Uh, you know, I'm sure you'll like her, whoever we choose. Uh, there's going to be two singers. 
that's for sure. This was always two seniors, but in our case now, we are, we're going to have two seniors who will be characters that will be important to the show, equally important to the show. So that's one thing I can reveal. I mean, it's not that much, but we don't know who it is yet. So we're working on it. And keep your music and, and uh, singer questions for a next live that we'll have that will be specifically Absolutely. on this subject. All right. Hector also wanted to know if the Ariel Cube and Ibis songs are back in the show. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, the cube, uh, we won't have the cube. We have something else. I think it's going to be a great surprise for everybody. Mm -hmm. The Abyss song will be there. So I think that's that's a good news. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But cool. we'll, keep, we'll keep the act as a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, we do have to keep some surprises, yeah. even though we're really <laughs> revealing a lot today in the creation process, which we normally don't do. Before I keep on going, I'm already receiving uh, a lot of hellos from Japan, South Africa, India, Puerto Rico. People are watching from all over the world. Wow. Thank you, guys. We're really excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So next. Um, well, Hector was also asking, his third question was, will there be any original acts? So we've talked about Hula Hoop. What else will be back in this version? Uh, back in the, in the show will be for sure Power Track. It's uh, one of the highlights of the show, so it's there for sure. And I think and Power uh, Track is yeah. like, I think you imagine the, the dream team, and we truly believe that we cast the dream team of Power Track, mm -hmm. so we know that this act's going to be super strong yeah. awesome. for, for the for the fans that have been following us for a while and that I've seen La Nuba a few times there are some artists that we went and got at La Nuba when La Nuba closed to bring Hanali to bring so, okay yeah. cool Cecil was also <coughs> asking if uh, Power Track would be back because she says it, it was the best part of the show in mm -hmm. her opinion exactly and they will uh, we will have a uh, Joe Trapais as well that will be in the show and uh, a twist on the Russian bar act as well so Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Keeping uh, through to Alegria <laughs> in some aspects. <laughs> All right. Um, so back to uh, more acrobatic questions. Um, there is someone who's saying, oops, not an acrobatic question, oh. guys. Sorry. <laughs> People want to know, actually, is it only going to be touring in Montreal? And um, and a lot of people are relating to their souvenir of the song, obviously. So her daughter was, Carmen, her daughter was born uh, with that song. So um, to answer your question, Carmen, the show is not only going to be in Montreal. So far we've announced that it's going to start in Montreal in April 2019. And then it will go to Gatineau. We don't know the rest of the cities yet, but there will be a tour plan uh, announced shortly. And uh, follow us on Club Cirque for more information. All right. So... Um, I guess, tell me a little bit more um, acrobatic challenges. Uh, we had Alin who was wondering, what's your biggest challenge as far as making this new version? <laughs> well, I think the, the world is so dynamic now that we also have to see how we can bring acts maybe not as long as they used to mm -hmm. and bring as much things that we add in a shorter period of time. So that's a mm -hmm. challenge that we have to bring much more dynamic it has to be you know quick and uh, so that's the challenge that we have we truly believe that we will accomplish that so I think in a short period of time it's just going to be more intense that's that's I think mm -hmm. one of our challenge mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. awesome and um, <coughs> we we call this a, a, a creation because it's a new version of the show is it for you guys uh, less time or more time? Like, what does it involve? Like, uh, as far as creation process and rehearsals and staging, as far as uh, acrobatic skeleton. Well, I, as far as the show in general, it, it requires as as much time as a creation. I'd say uh, there's a staging process, and all it's it's like we're starting from scratch. Right. You know, if uh, if uh, I always take opera and theater and ballet as an example <coughs> to illustrate what we're doing. If you're taking a Shakespeare, you you know whether you do it in, in the pool or a classic way or on a skateboard, you still need the time and you still need the the inspiration to revisit it. So it's a bit the same thing for us. 
as far as the is concerned, uh, you know, what's the time involvement? Yeah. You know, our first training day was July 3rd, yeah. so we, wow. are, we already started. So obviously there's some acts that require a lot of training, you know, for uh, performance level uh, reasons, but also for safety reasons, you know, we need to train a lot. Um, so we've started already. So I think we, t we took the measures to be sure that we're going to have a high level uh, show. And obviously, uh, relooking at the, having a new version, there's big expectation of an iconic show. So we know that the expectations are high. You know, it has to be cert level, but also Alegria level. So there, there's uh, there's good pressure. Oh yeah, good challenges there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. It's to keep the balance between what was Alegria and where we want to go with it, and to keep that level of expectations. So. It's a, it's a good challenge. Well, thank you guys. Uh, that wraps up our questions from our fan for today. Was there anything else that you wanted to reveal or tell us uh, on the acrobatic skeleton so far? No, I think we round up pretty much what the, is like the surprises a little bit at the same time and what are still there in the show that was there before. And we, we believe want. that we'll have a much better Alegria. <laughs> <laughs> wow, challenge is up. <laughs> challenge accepted. Um, so basically, I guess uh, we'll keep some surprises because we want you guys to come and see the show for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, again, starting in April, on Avril, à Montréal, au Vieux-Port. Um, it is very important that you uh, click on the link in the post for more info and stay tuned for future broadcasts. Merci beaucoup à tout le monde. Allez cliquer le lien uh, pour uh, revoir uh, ce live et uh, rester avec nous pour les prochaines fois. Je vous remercie énormément. Thank you everybody for being here this morning and I'll keep you to your hard work. I know you guys have a lot of meetings according to this TV screen <laughs> in the background. So uh, thank you. Merci tout le monde. Merci. Merci. Bye. Bye.